In this lesson, we will consider y parameters which correspond to one particular choice of uh, dependent and independent variables. Let us consider a linear network again this means that there are no independent sources inside, but there can be dependent sources and linear resistors. This is port 1, this is port 2 and let us think of uh, voltages being applied to these ports V 1 is applied this way, V 2 is applied that way and so we will have V 1 across this and V 2 across this and we will have I 1 here and I 2 there. Again these directions are conventions for defining the variables. Okay, the actual current may be anything depending on the insides of the circuit. Okay. Now, as we know because this is a linear circuit every branch voltage and current inside will be a linear combination of the independent sources applied which are V 1 and V 2. So, I 1 and I 2 will also be linear combinations of V 1 and V 2. So, I 1 will be something times V 1 plus something else times V 2. Now, clearly to have dimensional consistency these quantities here must have dimensions of conductances. Okay. In fact, this is the reason it is called y parameters. We know that g is the letter used to denote conductances, but for frequency dependent circuits there is a generalized form of conductance known as admittance which is also the ratio of current to voltage and that happens to be denoted by letter y. Okay. So, these parameters which have these conductances as the proportionality constants in the linear combination are called y parameters. Okay. For now, it is just a name for us these are called y parameters and these y parameters have dimensions of conductances. And similarly, the current I 2 will be a linear combination of V 1 and V 2 and these constants again have dimensions of conductances. Okay. Now, these four parameters together y 1 1, y 1 2, y 2 1, y 2 2 these are the y parameters of the two port. Okay. Now, this relationship can also be expressed more compactly if we write the two currents as a vector of length 2 and we have y 1 1, y 1 2, y 2 1, y 2 2 arranged as a matrix times the vector of voltages v 1, v 2. Okay. So, I 1 is y 1 1 times v 1 plus y 1 2 times v 2, I 2 is y 2 1 times v 1 plus y 2 2 times v 2. Okay. So, this matrix here is many times called the y matrix of the two port network. Okay. So, the y matrix consists of four parameters because we have two dependent variables and two independent variables there are four parameters relating the currents to voltages okay. and these subscripts here. Okay. So, let us take y 1 2. So, the first subscript denotes the effect meaning i 1 i 1 is y 1 2 times v 2. Okay. So, what is y 1 2 times v 2? It is the contribution of v 2 to i 1. Okay. So, I 1 is the effect V 2 is the cause. So, the first subscript denotes which the effect is and the second one denotes which the cause is. 
or in other words you can think of this as the input and this as the output ok. So, V 2 get scaled by y 1 2 to give you i 1 ok. So, that is the meaning of the subscript and you can see that for the rest of them it is the same way V 2 get scaled by y 2 2 to give you i 2 and so on ok. So, that is the definition of y parameters. Now, so far we have not done anything special ok. So, we knew that i 1 and i 2 would be linear combinations of v 1 and v 2 and that is what we have expressed and there is a standard way of uh, putting down these things and that is what I have shown here ok. Just to make an analogy with one force. If you have a single port and you think of V as the cause, let us say V 1 there is only one port. So, V 1 as the cause and I 1 as the effect, we know that I 1 is some conductance times V 1. Okay. What we have is exactly the same, we call this something else, we call it Y 1 1 times V 1. In case of a one port circuit or one port network, we have only one parameter. In case of a two port network, we have four parameters and similarly, you can imagine that in case of a three port network, we will have nine parameters, because we will have three voltages and three currents and so on. Okay. So, if you have an n port network, you will have n square parameters describing the relationship between n voltages and n currents. Okay. Now, let us consider this once again. We also need to figure out how to measure these parameters, okay. meaning in this case when we had a one port, we know how to measure it. We apply the voltage and find the current okay. and the ratio of uh, the current to voltage, this is the single y parameter that is there. I can call this conductance as this y parameter y 1 1, there is only one parameter in case of a one port. So, how do you do this? You apply V 1, measure I 1 and calculate the ratio I 1 by V 1. Okay. So, that is how we measure this parameter. What do we do in case of a two port? We have four parameters. So, that means that we need four measurements and a convenient way of doing it is let us say we want to measure y 1 1. y 1 1 appears in this first equation. Okay. The easiest way is to set V 2 to 0, so that the second term disappears completely and we have I 1 equals Y 1 1 times V 1 and from that we can measure Y 1 1. Okay. Set V 2 to 0, apply V 1 and measure I 1. Because we set V 2 to 0, I 1 will simply be y 1 1 times v 1. Okay. This is with v 2 equal to 0. So, y 1 1 is nothing but i 1 divided by v 1 when v 2 is set to 0. Okay. In other words, what is the meaning of setting v 2 to 0? We short circuit the second port. Okay. So, you short the second port and essentially measure the conductance looking into the first port, okay. because when you short circuit the second port, this whole thing we just have these two terminals to play with, we apply a voltage and find the current going there, take the ratio of current to voltage. So, this is nothing but current 
conductance at port 1 when port 2 is shorted ok. So, that is how you measure y 1 1. So, we can continue this for other three parameters. If you want to measure y 1 2 what do you do? You set v 1 to 0 the idea is the same i 1 is y 1 1 v 1 plus y 1 2 v 2. So, if you set v 1 to 0 this term disappears and you will have only the term containing y 1 2 ok. Then you apply v 2 and measure i 1 ok meaning we have ports 1 and 2 this is v 2 we short circuit port 1 that is the meaning of setting v 1 to 0. Okay, and we apply V2 and measure I1. Okay, that is we measure the current in port one while applying a voltage to port two. Okay, and you can compute Y12 as I1 by V2 with V1 set to zero, which means port one shorted ok. So, unlike in the case of conductance you are measuring the current in port 1 whereas, the voltage is applied on port 2 ok. Such a measurement it is known as a transconductance measurement that is you apply a voltage here and measure the current elsewhere. If you apply the voltage at a port and measure the current at the same port you will be measuring the conductance. If you apply a voltage at some port measure the current at some other port you will be measuring the transconductance ok. So, this can also be called transconductance from port 2 to port 1 that is the cause the stimulus is on port 2 and the effect or the response is on port 1 ok. Now, we can uh, see that by obvious extension we can measure the other two parameters as well. We can measure y 2 1, y 2 is y 2 1 v 1 plus y 2 2 v 2. To retain only the term containing y 2 1 we set v 2 to 0. So, set v 2 equal to 0, apply v 1 and measure I 2, Y 2 1 will be the ratio of I 2 by V 1 with V 2 being 0 ok. And if I draw the circuit for it, if I apply V 1 to the first port, I short circuit the second port and I measure the current I 2 ok. So, I am measuring the transconductance from port 1 to port 2. With port 2 short circuited ok and finally, to measure y 2 2 i 2 is y 2 1 v 1 plus y 2 2 v 2 and to measure y 2 2 we set v 1 equal to 0. So, that that term goes away and we apply v 2 
measure I 2 after setting V 1 to 0 and calculate Y 2 2 as the ratio of I 2 by V 2 with V 1 being 0. And what is this ratio Y 2 by V 2? We short circuit port 1 and we apply V 2 here and I 2 goes in there. Okay. So, essentially we are measuring the conductance looking into port 2 with port 1 short circuited. Okay. So, this is the conductance at port 2 with port 1 shorted. Okay. So, this is how we would go about evaluating the four parameters. So, if you are given a circuit and you will see worked out examples later, what you have to do to measure these four parameters is to make four measurements. The most convenient way to do that is to short one of the ports and make measurements on the two ports, and then short the other port and make measurements on the two ports. So, that will give you four parameters. Now, to be sure there are other ways of doing it, you simply take four different combinations of V 1 and V 2 and measure currents I 1 and I 2 for these combinations, you will get four different equations and from that you can solve for the four parameters, but this is the most convenient way of computing the four parameters. Okay. Now, because the measurement of uh, y parameters involves shorting of the ports, y parameters are also known as short circuit parameters. Okay. So, to summarize y 1 1 is i 1 by v 1. Remember, the second subscript goes here and the first one goes over there okay, with V 2 equal to 0 meaning port 2 is shorted okay, and y 1 2 is I 1 by V 2 with V 1 equal to 0 or port 1 shorted y 2 1 is i 2 by v 1 with v 2 equal to 0. So, that is port 2 shorted and finally, y 2 2 is i 2 by v 2 with v 1 equal to 0 port 1 shorted. So, what you can do is you short port 2 that is you set v 2 equal to 0 apply a voltage V 1, then you can measure I 1 to get Y 1 1, I 2 to get Y 2 1. Then you remove the short from port 2 and then short port 1 instead okay, and apply V 2 to port 2, then you measure I 1 to get Y 1 2 and I 2 to get Y 2 2. Okay. Now, these two Y 1 1 and Y 2 2 are conductances of course, under a specific condition it is the conductance looking into the circuit with the other port shorted and this y 2 1 and y 1 2 are trans conductances. That is they are ratios of current to voltages, but not on the same port the current is at some port and the voltage is at some other port. Okay. 